and rented the tree house to him. I'm Nicky Nicknacker. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm ready to sign your lease, dear lady. If only you behave more like this sweet debonair fellow, you might still be my tenant. But since you are nowhere near as cultured and refined, you're out of here. Oh, you T! Do you hear me? Out! Dear Meanie, now that the lease is signed, could you possibly see your way clear to lend me a mere morsel of food to tide me over until I'm settled in? Anything. What would you like? Oh, heavens. Just some soup, perhaps? One soupy doopy for my Nicky Wicky. And oh, I don't know, perhaps an egg? There we go! You know, it occurs to me, I could use a couple of ten, a um, hundred, uh, I mean thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, ten thousand would spot me nicely until the banks open on Monday. Oh, ten thousand? <laughs> Pshaw, what's a little <laughs> cash among friends? If you're thinking of coming up to my treehouse, would you do me the honor of phoning first? <laughs> Check it out, this biddy has some mighty cool stuff. The last one she'll ever suspect is little old me. <laughs> Mr. Knockwurst is a creep and a crook. Here's where I get my house back. Hey, what do you think you... I mean, why are you trespassing in my tree height? You can drop the bad British accent, bub. I'm way ahead of you. Miss Meanie will have to believe me when I return her... You ain't spoiling this for me. <laughs> Miss Meanie? I forewarned you that the cat was stealing from you. No! It was him! Him, Miss Meanie! That's the last straw. <laughs> I love the way you handled the riffraff, Miss Meanie. Meanie to throw socialite party for Nixon Nicknacker. Hmm. I bet old Nicky will be up to his tricks at a wingding like this. <laughs> Meanie might not let me back on her property, but like I always say, one good imposter deserves another. And then I said. So I said to the queen, it's a toilet brush, not a toothbrush. <laughs> Let's see what that freeloading treehouse wrecker is up to now. Gotcha. Spinach souffle bites? My sweet. <laughs> Nicky boy! Yeehaw! I've been wondering where my nephew Nicky was at. I'm Nicky's Uncle Knuckles of the Knoxville Neckmakers. You're not my Uncle Knuckles, you're an imposter. Huh? Nicky, what's come over you? 
<laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. I don't have an Uncle Knuckles. Ms. Mooney. Ah, uh, he's always pretending we ain't kin. Yep, 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 yep. That's our little game, right, Sticky Nicky? Sticky Nicky? Sure, he got that nickname because everything he puts his hands on sticks to him. <laughs> Is this the old bitty you told me you got wrapped around your feather tips? What? <laughs> I tell you, dear lady, I've never seen this imposter in my life. Say, you got the time bub? Uh, 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 Yump and yes, he games. They've been robbed. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. But you know what we knickknackers do when bad times hit? We square dance. Element left, element left, run That's my pocket watch. And my brooch. <laughs> It was you? How clever! <laughs> How could I ever thank you? Well, since you've been in such a generous mood lately, here's a short list of extras I think you could provide me at no additional rent. What? Oh, no, no, you don't, Woodpecker! <laughs> you won't take advantage of my hospitality! You freeloading sponge bird! You walking boots wagon! Get back here! <laughs> Are you hungry for a real Highland treat out there in TV land? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, just mm -hmm. point the remote at yourself, Woody, and follow me into Butter Scotchy Land. Munchies. <laughs> Tuesday night's temptation. Wednesday night. <laughs> it's Thursday night and I'm all out of butterscotch and finger pies. What'll I do? <laughs> oh man, come to Woody. Welcome to Cash and Dash. He is Nash. He is Lash. And, and that's, that's no, no trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Woody. Ring me up. Heck, that don't rhyme. Uh, I is forgot my money. This is Nash and Lash's cash and dash. Not BB's freebies. Not Barry and Larry's take whatever you can carry. Not everything you see here is yours just because you wanted it to heck with anybody else, mister. Lash? Yeah, Nash? That didn't rhyme. Coffee's backing up. Hallelujah. Ha-cha-cha. I can practically taste those butterscotchy finger pies already. Hello, Woody. Ah, the sweet sound of my money. What is your pin number? Oh, keep it up and you're gonna get the old one, two, three. One, two, three is incorrect. Wait, that's not my number. Your card is being voided. I'm afraid I can't do that, Woody. Somebody's gotta be open. 
Scotty finger pie. Dokie, sure. Crazy woodpecker. Butterscotchy finger pie, here I come. <laughs> drink. I need a drink. <laughs>
Good morning. May I help you? Yeah. How about a menu? I beg your pardon. A menu. Menu. M E N M -N Y O U U. Menu. Perhaps you mean our price list. Hmm. Yeah. What's your ceiling prices? Today. Could be. We all have our off days. Hmm. Uh, cut off the smart crack and bring me some food. Uh, bring me some fresh fried soup and a big T-bone steak smothered in pork chop. And uh, now let's see what else I have. <laughs> Women. Motor cars. Women. Yachts. Women. Mansions. Women. Hey, Jughead! Bring me my food! Oh, yes, yes, food. Oh, yes, food certainly fix you right up. Blackout Borscht. about the free fish. Uh. Thanks for the free grub, bub. 
What you gonna eat tomorrow, sonny boy? I'll come back here for the free fish, same as today. Oh, sorry. Offer's only good one to a customer. Besides, I got a philosophy about fishing. I give you one fish and you eat for a day. But I teach you the fish and you can eat every day for the rest of your life. Twenty-five bucks a lesson. Ah, uh, why would I pay someone to teach me how to put a worm on a hook and snooze in a rowboat? Oh, an expert, eh? Why didn't you say so? Well, since you know all there is to know, I won't charge you a penny. But you catch old Lefty the Trout, biggest, smartest fish in these here waters, so I can hang him in my shop to do all business. And you can eat free at my stand whenever you like. Free food forever? Just for catching a stupid fish? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> boy! You're on, bub. <sighs> I'll catch a few Z's, catch Lefty the Lunker, then head back to the bait shop to catch my free dinner. I'm telling you, Al, we gotta swim upstream together sometime. I know all the best spots around. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. Some hotshot's trying to make a name for himself. Yep, it's always the same, isn't it? Thinking they got what it takes to catch old Lefty the Big Trout. Ciao. Let's do lunch sometime. Oh, whoa. Come to Woody. Let's see. Ten-letter word for sucker. Woodpecker. A sucker is a woodpecker. Hey, what's the big idea? Next time, use something other than worms. I get a big appetite sport. <laughs> There's no fish that can outsmart a woodpecker on a mission. stuff and mount you over my mantelpiece down below. That does it. No fish lip wise guy's gonna... Hey, mayflies are a trout's favorite food. And that free fish fry at the bait shop is a woodpecker's favorite food. Yep, sometimes it takes a big bug to catch an even bigger bug. Mayflies, my favorite. Whoa! Can't get up, you overgrown minnow. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> so long. See you next fishing season. you want to hang on the wall, you can let me go. Forget it. I got a date with free dinner for life. Oh, so 
sorry. This isn't the legendary Lefty. Oh, no. No free meals for you, Woodpecker. What? I swear, it's your trout. Told you, sport. Now you're gonna let me go? No how, no way. I want that free meal, and you're gonna get it for me. Got it? Uh. <laughs> Bucky, we gotta talk. Hey, is it true there's a monster-sized trout in this lake? Monster trout are minnows compared to what I've caught. Why, just the other day, I caught... Yeah, so I got this great new gig. Oops, gotta go, out. I'm getting a call on my other line. And to this day, no one's ever caught a bigger trout. Stick right up. Give me hooks. I need plenty of bait. Hold a bigger net. What do you know? Just call me Stubby. The monkey ate a dunk and climbed the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. Then what became of the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk? Well, who cares? Listen, buddy, if you want to see this show, you got to wait, see? Okay, okay. Well, what a dead elephant. get through with you. Any similarity between you and a woodpecker will be purely coincidental.
is a mess. Sure is hard work being lazy. I need a new life. Chickens? Farm? What's going on down there? Mmm, nothing to do but relax. All the food you can eat. That's it. I'll be a professional chicken. <laughs> What are you doing away from your nest? Never you worry. Mama will get you back so you can lay some nice fresh eggs. Lay eggs? Now what would I want to do that for? So you can make your quota. Quota? Yes, and once you've made your quota, you get your reward. Now get to work! Reward? Oh boy, that's for me. Now where can a fella lay his hands on some eggs around here? So, stealing eggs, eh? Why, I'm gonna... Find me! She's it! She's it! She's it! She's it! What's going on? Well, a chicken has laid a million eggs. She is taken away to the door, where she enters into joy and eternal leisure. Joy? Eternal leisure? Anyways, as I was saying... Okay, okay, break it up, break it up! Get back to work, you lazy bums! Hey, where are all your eggs? Why aren't you meeting your quota? Uh, uh, because, uh... Because I'm too hungry to lay eggs. Of course! Why didn't I think of that? What's cooking, Chief? You got some hungry wood... I mean, chickens down here. Traveling quartz. Good for a chicken's gizzard. What's this handle for, Chief? Pull it to get your meal. 
Profits, boss. How are the chickens doing today? Woody! Woody! For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. Your Honor, you can't send me and Tweaky to jail. Besides, in which we never took that lady's jewelry, Your Honor. The jewels jumped from her floor safe into our hands as we was taking a moonlight stroll past the mansion. Order, order in my court. Because of your obvious theatrical and storytelling talents, I'm sentencing you both to do community service. You'll stage a play at the youth center. And if you don't put on a good show, it'll be a thousand years hard labor. Weeky. We're gonna get society to pay us while we pay our debt to society. Auditions today, five bucks. Oh, we want a trial for your play, mister, but we don't have any bucks. Then scram. But boss, we don't have any other actors. And you know what the judge said. I know, I know what the judge said. All right, let's see. I'm putting on a kid's show here. It's, uh, it's called Peter Pan. Tweaky and me wrote it ourselves. You didn't write Peter Pan? Yeah, we saw that show here last month. 
one. Oh, <laughs> did I say Peter Pan? No, 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 no. I said Peter Pan Handler. Yeah, that's my play, Peter Pan Handler. <laughs> You're hired. Yay! We won't let you down. Where's the stage? Where's my dressing room? Boss, you just broke the first roll of the theater. What, never act with kids or animals? Never act with kids who are animals. Oh, we're sincerely doomed. Hey, snap out of it, Tweaky. There ain't nothing to produce in a kid's show. I'm gonna mount a production the likes of which this community ain't never seen. Or my name ain't Broadway Fuzz Buzzard. These guys are strictly B-list. And they're gonna stink up this town. Unless we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> Act 9, scene 47 of Peter Panhandler. The Buzz and Tweaky story. This scene shows how me and Tweaky once had to bilk a sweet old lady out of a family heirloom jewels just to eat. Feel it, people. Feel it. Cue Splinter and Nuthead. Ha-ha! Yo-ho-ho! Ha-ha! Take that! Oh! What do you two think you're doing? There ain't no pirates in my life story. But the judge loves pirates. Yeah, everyone loves pirates. You gotta have pirates. Oh, the pain. That's what's wrong with Broadway today. There's too much catering to the public's whims. Well, not in my show. No dancing pirates, no singing cats. Oh, pfft. This is art. Juice, splinter and not head. Super woodpeckers to the rescue! Let's save him, Speedy Splinter! Glad you're around, cold, nimble knothead! Cut, cut, cut! There ain't no flying woodpecker scene! Who's directing this show, you or me? Don't answer that! Now you play me, and you play Tweaky! No pirates, no flying woodpeckers! This is drama! Play the scenes of my life so the audience can feel my pain. I feel his pain. Do you feel his pain? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel his pain. <laughs> the theater's full, boss. You know what'll happen if they hate our play, Tweaky? What come midnight, we'll be slow dancing on C Block with a gorilla named Bubba. No! We'll never get to Broadway! There's only one solution. In tonight's performance, the parts of Buzz Buzzard and Tweaky Delacky will be played by uh, themselves. You two gotta play all the other parts. Come on, Tweaky, it's showtime. <laughs> Peter Pan Handler, the Buzz and Tweaky story. As a baby buzzard, I was abandoned on the doorstep of two gentle pirates! Oh, pirates! <laughs> pirates! It's the most spectacular show I've ever seen. Okay, okay. Take us away, Judge. Not a chance, Buzz. You're a hit. We want you to direct the next show here, Director Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Death of a Salesman. And we'll 
we'll play the evil space aliens. Well, of course. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no evil space aliens in Theft of a Salesman. Ah! Out of my way, boss! Oh, help me, Tweaky! <laughs> As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. Mm-hmm. Bingo. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! I always get my man. What are you stopping for, pub? Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little fella. Ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> against this kind of thing, you know. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, lapso apso oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Mmm. I'm 
trying to sleep in here. I... I'm out of here. Look, kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible. Plus, all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? What a workout. Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here. We got the tank all ready. It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? <laughs> To quote my great-granddaddy when he was taken into captivity. A reception at City Department Store, Oswald. <laughs> Get ready, boys, for our big show. Okay, Santa, here we go. My suit is gone. Now I can't leave the parade. Oh, woe is me.
Welcome, Santa Claus. Meet the gang, Santa Claus. Me, Ron, you. Hear what we want this Christmas season. I want a drum, a spinning top, a hobby horse, a lollipop, a little chewboon that I can chewboon will make me happy. Like a doll with eyes of blue and golden curls and dimples too. One of those dollies that's in the folly would make me happy. <laughs> Thank you for this party from the bottom of my heart. So here's a toast to Oswald. Now let the party start. make a wish. Then we'll partake of this delicious chocolate cake. <laughs> oh boy, so 
of fun. <laughs> <laughs> 